hopefully this time uh, we will be able to address more questions about eyeshadow okay so our master class for tonight is eyeshadow 101 okay so it's supposed to it's supposed to be very easy to understand can be done by not only professionals but also everyone who wants to look good every day okay so last meeting we started with how do you do your makeup with just one color and um as a tip i told you to use a medium color if you have a color palette uh choose that uh let's say your lightest color is um somewhat white or beige your medium color would be around peachy or to uh, or taupe like what i'm using right now is heaven so as you see i have uh here um darker shades and then i have this mid color shade one in an orangey color called harmony and one is a parang peach pink this has a little bit of shimmer but i'm not sure if you can see it in the camera so here in the palette you see that it's quite lighter than the rest of the color but not as light as your usual highlighters my highlighters are normally um loose pigments Yan, kailangan may pagka vlogger ka dito eh. Yan. Then, that's what I use as highlighter. Okay, so um there you start applying that again. Uh if you're just going to use one color, choose one color like that and apply it from the base of your lashes. Base like this. Deposit and then just brush up and then while you're brushing up i really suggest that you open your eyes guys especially the ones that have very small eyes like me so you have to end up opening your eyes so that you will see up to where you're going to apply that color because it has to be beyond let's see how small my eyes are it has to be beyond this this part so people will see the color naman right and then if your eyes are way too small like mine it will work if you extend it a little bit outward to make that area bigger okay there as you can see you can also use that remaining color down here or you can get a smaller brush use that remaining color down here so what you're creating right now is expanding your eye, making it appear bigger, and covering that area that is right outside. Right outside your eye area. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna make your eye appear bigger, okay? Naturally, and you can actually blend it outside. So we just use, just using one color, parang brighten up na yung mata ko, diba? Yan. So, yeah, So, it's effortless. You know why I think it's so different from the time when I was still uh, young? <laughs> it's easier to apply makeup nowadays because the products have some silicone in it, no? Parang it has silicone base. Or if not your eyeshadow, your... Possibly your primer has some silicone in it. So it's easier to glide. It's easier to blend. I definitely, I'm not a formulator. I don't know what's inside this. But even though it's cream based, you see how easily I was able to apply it. I think because of the additives that they put on the pigment. So it's easier to glide talaga. So do not be scared of eye makeup. You know, it's um. It's supposed to be an ABC, meaning pang kindergarten. But it tends to become um, scary or um, threatening even for some people. Kasi nga, baka hindi mo ma-blend na maayos. Pero yun na nga, as I was saying, since it, it has this ingredient na it's kind of creamy, it's so easy to glide. Okay? It's so easy to glide. So there is my one color eye makeup. Now, I just want to show you guys because i know there are so many people who wants who has um droopy 
eyelids they have been asking this question this is my third time with alana and people have been asking all the time what to do with droopy eyelids so um just a quick tip again i discussed it the last time but uh just a reminder or for those who's who's just here right now your star ingredient is cocoa butter yes thank you for that who is that this is actually what makes the pigment super blendable yun yun pala yun so now we know guys so it's cocoa butter while still gripping the skin very well yeah kasi you know what i think about cocoa butter is it's not so greasy it makes your skin i know um moisturized but it's not so greasy so it works even for oily skin definitely me dry skin kailangan ko talaga yan but also for oily skin kasi ano parang naaabsorb siya na skin mo right away so anyway going back to the channel <laughs> the youtube channel now going back uh so um my quick tip for droopy eyes is you see my eyes are so droopy here oh hindi pantay yan eh may pagka ano talaga yung mata ko so if you have droopy eyes my quick tip for you guys is to apply the outer corner a darker color than your base because you know my base was um heaven like i said it's a peach pink color with a little bit of shimmer it has like a bronzy shimmer so now i'm applying wish yan Ay, naurong si Heaven. Ulang kasi yung MCC ko. Naur yan. So, I'm applying Wish, which is like a chocolate brown. So, what I'm gonna do is just, I'm just gonna take the last one-fourth, or however small your eyes are, last one-fourth of my eye, and just lift it up there. So, you see that? And then, I'm just gonna blend it. So with that very simple trick, I don't know if you can see it guys, am I clear? But with that simple trick, you will see that I was able to lift the side of my eye, making it more perky, parang counteracting the droopiness of my eye. And if you can see, I'm not brushing it backwards because I just want to keep the shape of my eye open like that. So there, if you put something like that, parang maangat na siya na counteract na yung droopiness ng mata any phone in question as of now wala pa okay right now we only have two questions which is okay. one from Jilly Baltazar so I think it's gonna be something that a lot of people ask is eye primer really a must for hmm. applying eyeshadow kailangan ba talaga mag eye primer okay um for this MCC, okay, I'm just talking about this, ah. For this MCC, not necessary kasi it really grabs onto your skin. It's like an eye primer with pigment or colors in it. And then it dries up as powder, okay? But, syempre, some lids are very oily. So, I still suggest, if you're not gonna use a primer, I still suggest that you uh, set it. Set it with, um stay matte poreless powder okay because mamaya baka mag ano ano na yan ano tawag doon mag smudge smudge shower hindi naman mag smudge smudge but we just want it to last longer so this has almost no color naman eh. it's really very translucent so i just dab dab it to keep it um longer uh to uh, so that to, uh, to remove excess oil as well now going back to the primer Okay, ano ba talaga yung purpose ni primer? Purpose ni primer for the eyes, okay? We're not talking about the rest of the face. First is, it creates a parang blank canvas as well. Just like a foundation. Kasi some primers, I know, has a little bit of tint. It covers kasi yung ibang lids ng mga tao. Do, minsan dark. Minsan naman, there are so many spider veins. So, it helps color or start or create a canvas before you apply your makeup because sometimes if you don't do that the, hindi lalabas yung real color ng eyeshadow mo magigi kukontra siya sa whatever veins you have there or whatever is the color of your skin on top of your lids so it helps if you use a primer now 
there are also primers naman that don't have color. So if you're using a highly pigmented product such as this one, then you don't, it's fine. You don't need to apply a, a primer na may, may color na kasi nagko-cover na yung iyong pigment. So, yun yun. So, it's not, it depends on the product that you're gonna use on top of it. Secondly, it depends on your eyelid as well. If you have a lot of discoloration, then maybe you need that extra dose of primer. But if you're just using plain eyeshadow, powder-based eyeshadow, uh, for example, yung, um, I have a lot of this, eh, yung mga, um, Loose mineral pigments. Okay, these are powders, so it's very long lasting. But you need something to put underneath for it to adhere. So ang ginagawa ko pag ganito, ayan, I use the blur primer or DDCC primer or whatever primer. If I'm just gonna use this, I'm definitely gonna need a primer. Okay. Next. Any other question before I continue? question from so this Anna Cunha, I've asked her to transfer it to the Q&A tab and see if she was able to do so. Oh, she wasn't able to do so that's fine. So I will oh there, there we go. So Anna Cunha there. It's on her Q&A she's asking us how do I know which colors will blend well together? So we talked I think in the last one we talked about your sunshade etc. How do I pick the shades I'm going to work with together for an eye look? Okay thank you. Thank you for that. Okay that's a great question. Uh, in fact um this question can also answer uh, what are you really supposed to wear no, uh, for an occasion, for example. Me, as a general rule, I also teach my students this. If you don't have any, if the client tells you, Bala ka na, what you want to do with me, I choose color based on the outfit of the person, one, or the contact lens of the person or the eye color. I would say the eye color of the person, but we're mostly all Filipinos here. And swerte na tayo kung brown yung mata natin, but mostly black, no? So I really base it either the clothing ng tao or sa kulay ng buhok ng tao. Why? Okay, so there's what we call warm color and cool color. Okay, so warms, if you're going to a wedding, usually people wear... um peach, ganun tayo mga Pilipino eh, mga light color tayo, pastel tayo, ganyan. So, peach, um, champagne, may ganyan ano, pag peach and champagne, yan, warm yan, warm, okay? Minsan naman, pink, ayan, old rose, yung mga ganyan naman, or purple, lilac, yan naman yung mga cool colors, okay? So, when the person, so it depends on the look you're going for if you want a muted style, if you want a natural look, you would want to stay in the same color palette as your outfit. So for example, naka peach ka, you can use other warm colors such as um, peach also, orangey, or um, bronze, yung mga ganyang color. Now, Kung naka-cool tone ka naman, like me tonight, I'm wearing navy blue. Okay, so pag ganyan naman yung color mo, um, you can use naman the, the colors that are also cool. Kung gusto mo ganyan, magbi-blend in sila together. Pink, ganyan. Pastel, purple, mga ganyan. But if you want something, um, if you want that um, emphasis, Okay, so kunwari nag-contact lens ka, tapos nagsuot ka ng contact lens na blue, and you put blue eyeshadow, it's just gonna blend in together, it's not gonna emphasize anything. So, if my client is wearing, let's say, gray eyeshadow or blue eyeshadow, I normally go to the opposite of the color wheel, okay? So, medyo technical to. May color wheel kasi tayo, may warm and cool. So, kung blue or gray yung, eyesh yung uh, contact lens, cool yon. so I use the opposite, which is coppery, bronzy, yung mga ganyan. But, um, pagka naman ang contact lens nila is somewhat mga green. Okay, so, dun naman din ako. Yung pagka-green niya, let's say, um, hazel. Yung ganyan, yung very, uh, or very fiery yung dating ng mga mata niya. Sorry. I use, um, I counteract it with, uh, parang, plumish, purplish, ganon. Okay? So, that's how I choose. Now, you can also do that. Okay? Well, 
you can choose from your skin color or things like that but it might be way too technical for a person who's just really doing your makeup every day so uh, the color of your outfit is a good shade okay and then how do you choose kung ano yung ilalagay mo sa first layer second layer third layer mo ayon so if some of you who attended the last session our first layer is the lightest color in your eye makeup palette it's usually the highlighter and then um your second layer is the color that i have here right now which is like a a little maybe two shades darker than your highlight color and then the one that i used on the side is my third color that is like an accent color so how do you choose from that okay ganun din yun ang mga browns kahit browns may mga certain undertone yan if you can see this one wish and this one eternity are both browns okay but if you look closely etong si eternity may pagka ano to it taupe siya so may pagka cool siya but this one which is wish is cocoa Kung nakikita mo, parang nag-orange-orange -orange siya eh, dito sa akin sa screen ko ah. So, I would say that it is a warm type of brown. So, if I would like a muted or a natural look, if this is a warm brown, I will use it with a warm layer 2 color. Okay? And if this is a cool brown, I would use it with the cool layer 2 color. Okay? Ganun yung gagawin ko. So, I hope that answers your question. So, you start with um, a medium color that you can apply all over your lids. Lagpas ng kaunting-kaunti sa crease. And then, you use another darker shade in your browns na kapareho niya ng either warm or cool. Okay? So, ulitin ko ulit yung warm or cool. Basta pag naisip nyo yung apoy, Ano yung na sa apoy? Pag nakabukas ang lighter, lighter talaga. Ano yung lumalabas na colors? Red, de ba? Meron dyang, ang pagka-red niya parang red-orange, tapos may yellow, ayan. Yan ang mga warm when you think of fire or gold jewelry. Gold jewelry, ayun yung mga warm. Ano naman yung mga cool? Ang mga cool, maiisip mo dyan, yung dagat. Yan, so yung mga teal, aquamarine. Yan, yung mga pink nyo. Yan yung mga cool color. So, ganun din siya kahit pagdating sa sa brown. So, kahit when you look at this palette, you can already see some colors are warm. Like, ito, very orangey. This one is a red-orange. Some are cooler than the rest. This one is like a more, to me, more pink than peach. And then, this one is like a bluish kind of red. Parang maroonish na. So, cool na yan for me. Ganun siya. Meron kang makikitang tint dyan kung may pagka-cool or warm siya. Okay? Yeah, there. I hope I answered your question. So anyway, to continue on, I just want to share with you, the way I did this is shaping my eye na parang, parang nalilift, right? And parang siyang nalilift sa corner. And yan ang itsura niya. Pag shinape ko yan na ganyan. So, para siyang, when I work it outwards, ganyan ang isura niya, para siyang nagli-lift sa corner. But, when I apply my makeup using the same color, but with a different direction, I create a different shape. So, for example, medyo exage ko to para makita natin. But if I apply my makeup this way, so I deposit also the pigment. And then I brush upwards, but I am not extending outside my eye area. I'm just keeping within my eye area. Because if you see here, I extended it outward, okay? So if I'm just keeping it in here... Ang hirap pala mag-makeup na ang katapat mo is screen, hindi sa lamin. So, if I'm keeping it here and I make it rounder, it creates a parang different shape on my eye. Ang 
creates a different shape on my eye. And also, parang it extends my eye upward instead of this one that extends my eye outward. Okay, so exage natin to para kita. Yan, so parang this one extends my eye outward. This one naman extends my eye upward, okay? So, the matter or the way you put your eyeshadow affects the shape of your eyes, okay? So, it depends on what you want to achieve, okay? So, if you want a rounded eye look, hindi you apply paangat for it to parang nag open up yung mata. Pero kung gusto mo naman na mag-widen yung mata mo, you can draw it outside. Why do we need to learn these techniques? Okay, we need to learn these techniques because our eye shapes are different from one another. Okay, some eyes are so closed in together. Hello, Jiro. Are you here? Because I think this is Jiro's question and I want to address it properly. Okay, so anyway, so yung question kasi ni Jiro, sorry Jiro, <laughs> is bakit daw pag nabimakeup siya, mukha siyang duling palagi, okay? So, iyon yung reason is the way you apply your eyeshadow. If you already know na medyo yung mata mo closed in, closed in meaning, meaning it's near your nose and you keep applying eyeshadow inside closer to your nose lalo ka magmumukhang duleng it's not only your eyeshadow okay it's also the lashes okay kasi mahilig tayo mo lagi makakapal na lashes and pausong pausong ngayon mas makapal na lashes mas gusto natin no but it is it affects the shape of your eyes as well. So, pag naglalagay ako, tingnan nyo ha, I will use, can you use Wish to Tight Line? Wish is like a cocoa color that is, it's somewhat dark. It's really dark. So, let me see if it will work well to tight line. For daytime look, I guess it's fine. But for nighttime look, mukhang hindi ito makikita. Okay. Okay, so I want to show you what I mean by lalo ka magmumukhang duleng the way you put your makeup. Okay. So, gawin na lang natin muna sa eyeliner. Okay, so as you see, dalawa magkaiba. This side, the accent is out here. And then I just left this inside area alone. Okay, so what it's doing is it's drawing away my eyes it's drawing my eyes away from my nose. That's the effect that it's doing. While the other one is kung ano lang yung size ng mata ko, yun lang ang ginawa niya. Because I wanted a round, more a rounded look on this one. Okay. So, if I apply my eyeliner here and I, I make it full. So, let me do that. Oh my God. Mahirap pagka dito sa camera. But let me just try it. So, I'm applying it all the way inside. Sorry, ang aking mata ay maliit. Parang wala naman kayo masyadong makita. So, I'm gonna make it thicker. So, there. So, if I apply it inside. I'm somewhat making my eyes closer to my nose. Okay. Whereas, if I apply it outside. I'm just using dark brown, guys. This is a life proof in dark brown. And then I do apply inside, but very, very thin lang. This is what I use for tight lining. 
for a more natural look. Kasi for just doing our daily lives, I don't put that much black eyeliner. Okay, so there. So this is done in, in exaggeration, guys. I know naman you won't do this on your daily lives, but I wanted to show you the effect. Okay, so if you see, what happens is, if I apply the dark color too close, so pasok pa natin to dito. Kunwari, nagkontur-kontur ako. I wanted it to appear so contoured. Ayan. So, contour-contour akong ganyan. And then I reach all the way here inside. Okay, so what happens is, sorry, exage talaga ha, para makita nyo. What happens is, I'm drawing my eye inward, right? And this can work for eyes that are wide set, okay? But for me, since my eyes are small and it's so close set, if I keep doing this, magmumukhang maliit yung mata ko at magmumukha akong duleng. Whereas the other side, if I'm drawing it outside, my eyes will look wider than it really is. Okay? Even though, mas dito talaga mas maliit yung mata ko compared to the other side. So, and then, kung... And if I add highlight pa inside... And I apply highlight pa here. What's the effect? So the effect is I am creating space. I am creating space. So when I create space, mas magmumukang malapad or wide yung mata ko. Whereas when I inserted color, dark colors here, it's making my eyes closer to the center, okay? So, anong relevance nitong dalawang to? <laughs> Kahit mukha kong ewan. The relevance of this is that the way you apply your eyeshadow and your eyeliner affects your eye shape, okay? So, if you want to create that space, guys, remember, light colors create space. So, pag nakikita mo yung mata ko dito, parang nagka-space. Hindi na siya mukhang duleng. Whereas here, dark colors uh, makes the area recede or deepen. So, the more na dark here, the more na lalo siyang pumapasok. So, if you feel na duling-duling na yung mata mo, huwag mo nang gawin yung gantong makeup or your lashes should not be concentrated inside but more of outside. Or maybe just in the middle, dali I look ganon, okay? I hope I answered your question. Okay, so we have something from Jilly Baltazar. Okay, so who's asked? She has glasses, naman. So I think this is a, quite a unique situation. Okay. I want to experiment with more eyeshadow, but I wear glasses all the time. My eyes got allergic to contact lenses already, so I'm stuck with glasses. Is there a good eye look for people with eyeglasses? Yes, definitely. For me, when you're wearing eyeglasses, syempre, yung techniques mo with your eye makeup, hindi masyadong kita. Depends on the rim of your eyeglasses too, okay? So for me, may kulay ba yung ano, rim mo? But anyways, putting all the colors aside, for me, ang pinaka-importante pagkat naka-eyeglasses ka is your eyeliner, okay? You can just make your eyeshadow simple if you want to do one color like we taught you how last session. You can do that. But make sure you focus on your eyeliner, you focus on your mascara, and you make your eyes open up. Okay? So how do you do that? Even your, I thought, the people who watched last time, how to make your eyes rounder, how to make your eyes flutter. So anyway, you can, if your eyes can take it, you can apply thicker eyeliner on top. And your mascara talaga should start from the base lifting outwards. So that for me is the best under glasses of any type of color because you want to draw in attention to your eyes. And also... Other than your eyeliner, kahit maglagay ka lang ng kaunting smudging of a darker shade. Kasi the darkest color in your eyeshadow should be where your lashes are. So it can be dark brown like what I'm wearing right now or it can even be black. So smudge mo yan there, bubo ka talaga yung mata mo. Even under glasses. 
Okay. Any other question? Can you use bold color eyeshadows for barely their, their makeup? Well, really, right now, there is no rule. Dati laging may rule, eyeshadow mo dark, dapat lips mo pale, or ang eyeshadow mo muted, dapat ang lips mo red. Re right now, really, we can just be who we want to be. And I keep telling my students nga, or my clients, kung anong shape ng mata mo, own it. Okay, let's not try to look somebody that we're not we're always trying to look like the latinas we're always trying to look like the caucasians or what have you or even the koreans nowadays so whatever the shape of your eye own it if you want to wear uh bold colors you can do so the the for me if you want to do that you just have to start little and then build up okay the good thing with uh creams it's easy to build up di katulad dati pagka gumamit ka ng ano um uh, Dati kasi babasain pa yung eye, um, ano? yung eyeshadow brush. Then, para kumapit yung pigment or yung color dati ng eyeshadow. Tapos gaganunin mo. And then, when you apply, it's not blendable anymore. It's so scary. But the, with the products nowadays, just start little and then build up. Kahit how bold the color is, I think it's gonna work. Yun. Wag lang yung bold na siguro yung hair mo, bold yung eyeshadow mo, bold yung lips mo. Medyo, hindi naman sa pakikailaman ka ng mga tao. Pero baka matawag ka ng baduy. Yun lang naman. Okay? Frankie? Yes. I forgot that I was on mute, which is a very standard thing for you. <laughs> Actually, there's a really interesting question here from Fiona Enriquez. She has several, but this is the first one. Is um, is it necessary to put eyeshadow on the lower lids? Because it's a technique that's been coming out a lot, like the lower lash line having eyeshadow there as well. Yeah. So, okay. Thank you. I love that question. Okay. Uso ngayon eh, di ba? So, parang kasama palagi yung lower lids sa mga makeup. And I think ang nagpa-uso nito yung mga Koreans. And the reason why they're doing this, I think, is because... They want to expand the size of their eyes because if you apply color there as well, parang mas lumalaki pa yung eyes mo. And then you apply parang light color in the waterline, it expands the white of the eye, parang mas lumalaki pa ulit yung eye mo. Okay, meron din yan talagang uh, trick, okay? Just like what I did with the upper eye makeup, yung lower nakaka-affect din yan sa size ng mata mo. So, kunwari, nag-eyeliner ka here, outward, and then nag-eyeliner ka here at the, parang mga one-fourth or one-half of the outer side of your eyes, the, the effect is also the same. It widens or it draws your eyes away from your nose. Or, if you apply the eyeliner in the center of your eye, may effect din yan. Alam nyo ba? Mga studyante ko, alam nyo ba? Na pag nilagay nyo yan dito sa gitna, katulad ng pag nilagay nyo yan sa gitna sa taas, it will make your eyes parang mas bilog. Sorry, medyo kumalat lang. But really, the effect that I'm going for is really to apply it just in the middle so that to make my eyes look rounder. And then you also just apply up here to make your eyes rounder. Okay, so, hindi naman sa kailangan. But if you are going for a certain look, it can also help you. It can, see? Parang bumil medyo mas bumilog-bilog yung mata ko. Yun yun. It affects the shape of your eye. Now, eto lang ang suggestion ko sa inyo. Please, kung mag eyeliner kayo sa ilalim, do not skip that top lid. Because if you're gonna apply eyeliner at the bottom only, the way our uh, 80s mommies do, your eyes will look tired because it will draw your eye downward. Kasi kung walang eyeliner dyan, tapos dito may eyeliner dito, magmumukha kang matanda, magmumukha ganyan, no? It will make your eye look tired and it will pull it down. Yun lang naman yung ruling ko for eyeliner or makeup underneath. Okay? So, secondary siya from your top lid. Okay? Okay. We have uh, further questions kind of connected to the bottom bottom lid as well. Mm -hmm. Anna Ruth Villari asks if, if mascara for the bottom lashes is recommended. Yes, yes. If you want to open up your eyes, yes, you should. You should. Um, the way to apply it lang, para hindi masyadong exage, hindi naman yung galing dito at binubuka-buka mong ganun. Kasi medyo exage, hindi na maganda minsan tignan, nakaklump up. But for nighttime, it's fine. But during the day, you apply here, di ba, on top. Pero kahit nasa dulo lang, 
malaking effect na yon. And yes, it can open up the eyes. But if your eye is the prominent eye type, medyo bihira yan sa Filipinos, pero kung prominent na yung mata mo, what is prominent eyes? Yung parang pag tinignan mo yung person, uno mo agad nakikita yung mata niya, diba? Medyo prominent na na ganun. I suggest you skip that kasi it will make the eyes more out there. Okay. okay. So there's another question. This is from Jan Ina Garcia at kind of uh, pushing back into into uh, the cream shadow kind of discussion. Since, since MCTs are a cream shadow, what is the best technique for all the colors to show? Is there a tendency for the cream shadows to just blend into one color? Well, uh, yes. Thank you. Um, well, I don't know if Jan was here last time, but we did um, lengthily explain you one eyeshadow, two eyeshadow, three eyeshadow, four eyeshadows, okay? But so far, if you can see, so far, di pa naman nagahalo yung mga eyeshadows, no? Nandito pa rin naman yung highlight, nandito pa rin yung contour color, nandito pa rin yung uh, the, my, my middle color as well as here, okay? So, is there a way? Yes, it has to be contrasting enough. For it to show um for instance if you're using colors that are way too alike like this one which is um the light and you're using it with the hope if they're way too alike of course definitely they will blend in so if you want to create that okay again high um uh, layer one is your lightest color layer two is your middle color layer three is your contour color and layer four is your darkest that usually placed near the lashes okay how do you not allow it to make halo halo pagka cream um i set it with powder after okay but your powder has to be loose and it has to be translucent meaning hindi niya i-cover yung color na nilagay mo so ako um, I really dab a little bit of color with the very loose powder. Sorry, I dab a little bit of the Stay Matte Powder. Yung dab dab ko lang na ganyan. It will not change my color at all. But it will stay, it will make everything stay in place. And it will stop it from creasing as well. And hindi naman siya magbi-blend blend in together. Kasi like I said nga, if you can see, my highlight is still very visible as compared to my contour here. Which is because I made it that way. Here, they, you have no highlight because I didn't color it that way. And it's still staying the place I want it pa naman. Just as a follow-up question, Miss Christine, it is really ideal though for the colors to blend into each other naman po. Like, you don't want to have harsh lines naman between shades. Exactly, diba? yeah. Right now, hindi siya uso. Back in the 80s or, or 90s, talagang meron kaming ganito, guys. Meron talaga kaming creasing. You know that a uh, brush that is meant to create a very, very hard crease na mas matulis pa dito? Yan yung uso dati. Talagang ilalagay namin yan sa darkest color na. Because the goal before was para magkaroon ka ng ano? Hindi ka monolid. Matanggal yung pagka monolid mo. Maging malalim talaga yan. Yan yung goal before eh. So, ilalagay namin ganyan yan. Guhit na guhit na guhit na guhit na guhit na ganyan yan. No? I was a makeup artist forging Jing before and he would always say, I don't wanna see those lines. Okay? Because the trend nowadays is talagang blended yung colors. But, guys, yun kasi, ko everyday people tayo, we want it somewhat hindi halatang halata yung line. But, it doesn't mean naman na hindi ka din pwedeng gumawa ng mga ganong lines. Kasi, eh, depende sa use mo. Some, yung mga insta Instagrammable eye makeup, yun talaga yung mga guhit na guhit, talagang kitang-kita mo yung separation ng colors. That's what we call glam makeup, guys. Okay? So, glam makeup na kasi, it's an advanced uh, training. And the characteristic of glam makeup is you really see the lines and the color separation because normally, we use glam makeup for photography or theater. So, if you're, you're acting in theater, Kailangan the last person sa dulo ng teatro can see the colors in your eye. Or kunwari, nagbabalay ka. Ganon. Yun yung purpose non. That's why we really need that separation of color. But for day, 
day-to-day -day use, which I think what Alana stands for is for your everyday, everyday girl, you need a little bit of blending and no harsh lines, okay? Thank you so much, Miss Christine. Okay, um, can we take some more questions or do you have another module you'd like to kind of walk okay, us through? Okay, so... Um, there. So actually, yung questions nila is also what I know I I want to discuss with you, no? So I just want you to remember, guys, that dark shades will make your eyes recede. So if your eyes are already deep and sunken, if you put darker colors, lalo siyang lulubog. Parang yung mga eye bags nyo when you are concealing your eye bags. It falls, there's like a shadow here. Oh, kasi I did not highlight that part. Everything else, if I apply just one color all over, you will still see that darker part there because it is really dark underneath. So if I want to counteract that, I would use a lighter color just where that sunken area is, okay? So f just the same when you want to create space in an area like here i wanted my eyes to look farther away from my nose just because i want it to look bigger and not dulling then i put lighter shade here but kung ikaw naman yung eyes mo medyo malayo na or medyo malapad yung whatever <laughs> you can put the color in inside okay so darker colors make your eye appear uh, it makes your eye or any part of your face recede. That's why kung gusto mong papayatin yung face mo, lagyan mo ng dark color dyan, magre-recede yung area na yan. Gusto mong papayatin yung ilong mo, lagyan mo ng dark color yan dyan, di ba? Contour-contour mo yan dyan, magre-recede yung side ng ilong mo. Okay? It's the same thing with eye colors. So, if you're already, your eyes are already patong-patong na yung lids mo dyan, and you keep applying light color there, the more it will become patong-patong. Okay? Now, another reminder, guys, if you are, uh, maybe we have some mature audience tonight. If you are doing makeup on uh, mature eyes or yung marami ng fine lines, do not use too much powder. Skip the baking as much as possible. Use more creamy products and then just set it with a little bit of powder and skip those very shimmery colors. Okay. The more shimmery the color is, the more ma-accentuate yung lines nila. The more powder you apply under the eye, the more maglilitawan yung mga lines nila. Okay, so if you see that it's very dark under the eye or your eyes are very dark but uh, marami ka ng wrinkles, do not use powder to keep covering that. Okay, so you need the... Uh, to apply a lot of moisture, you use your blur primers because it has silicone to fill in those lines and keeps your eye hydrated. Ganyan, okay? What else? I'm just thinking from the last uh, discussions that we had na hindi masyadong na, na focus on, okay? There are no perfect shapes for eyes, guys. Um, I don't recommend you try to... Um, copy someone's eyes unless that's your job <laughs> unless you are um acting in a in a um, in a movie or something that you need to look like someone else you, i love whatever's in your eye and um just try to enjoy it okay so there also another reminder when you are trying to create create a crease on your eyeshadow okay for most eyes, creasing or creating that deep crease, you don't need to go too dark. Like, you don't need to go gray or stuff. For me, a dark brown is really enough. In fact, too much if you don't, if you, if the product is not blended well. So, ganun lang. So, just a reminder, I just lift a little bit in the end before I connect inward, okay? So... If your eyes are way too wide apart, you can go in here. But if not, if it's way too small, then I suggest you create more space in that area. So, yun. That's what it makes, okay? Alright, so any other question? 
Is it advisable to use eyelid tape? Okay, sorry, nadaanan ng mata ko yan. Sagutin ko. Last time, the very first session I had with Ilana was about monolid eyes talaga. And if you can look at my eyes, isa kasi talaga may crease, yung isa wala talaga. So normally, if I'm attending a wedding, I do apply a monolid or a, a lid tape here to make it more balanced. Kasi pa nag-lid tape ako dyan, nagkakaroon na rin siya ng... Um, lid space there. So, yes, why not? Okay? So, if it will help you, lalo na yung may mga edad na, I, I, I always do this with, this with my Lola clients na kasi hindi naman sila dating chinita or droopy but because of, you know, sagging skin, nandito na talaga yung mga mata nila. So, pag nilagyan mo yan, you make them chin up, you apply the lid tape here, pag ginawa mo yan, matatanggal yung ganun nila. Sobrang magte-thank you sila sa iyo. <laughs> Sabi nila, "Uy, this is what my eyes really look like originally." So, yes, why not? I do that all the time too. Yeah, I keep searching for products that are good also. Because you have to find a lid tape that is matte so you can apply eyeshadow on top of it. And ang maganda din sa cream, by the way, it works on lid tapes. So, before you apply, it has to be very dry and matte. Otherwise, hindi kakapit yung lid tape. Okay, so there's actually another question. This time it's coming from Sue Amoroso. Actually, Fiona Enriquez and Sue Amoroso kind of are connected questions, so we'll try to answer both. Fiona asks, can I still use cool colors even if I have a warm undertone? And Sue Amoroso, connected to that, asks, what do you recommend is the best basic palette for MCCs if you are medium to morena skin? So this is the, you know, what colors are right for my skin tone this time is the question. Yeah, okay. So uh, for morenas, there are morenas that are cool toned and there are morenas that are warm toned, okay? So, if you are a morena and you want to use cool tones, yes, by all means, it will um, it will create a great contrast on your skin. Um, when I go to other countries and I do makeup or if I have clients who are somewhat really darker than us, um, kung nakikita nyo sila, if um, they're... Um, very dark yung sabihin na natin mga black natin na ano na na people um minsan na very warm brown ang color nila so parang morena din na talagang golden yung color nila when you apply a cool color on them favorite ko yung apply sa kanila cool color is um yung par ito parang paradise it's a um, cool red brown Okay, so it's a cool brown that will look so good in a warm skin because it creates contrast. Okay, so you are not limited to warm colors, guys, because warm colors will actually just blend in with your morena color. Ganun lang. Mukha ka lang wala. Parang, ano, parang nag-glow ka lang. Parang J-Lo ka, ganyan. Yan ang effect ng kung gagamitin mo warm. Okay. But if you want to make that emphasis, you want the eyes to stand out, then by all means, go ahead. Go for a cool color because it will create contrast on your skin. And ang ganda ng effect niya. Even with lip color, no, our, that's not our topic, but I find that when I have a morena client, when I apply a cool reddish tone on her lips, talagang nabibring out yung kulay niya. Super nice. So... I'm I'm so I know go for that cool color for morenas. Just make sure you're using the right level or intensity of color because some that are cool colors that are way too light will just wash out sa skin ng morena. Okay? So you have to have that right level of color na lilitaw naman sa skin mo. Okay? And in your professional opinion, just to follow up on that, from the current MCCs that you have with you, which ones would you suggest to a medium tone morena that these are like the colors that you can grab and go with? Okay, so for a medium tone morena, my favorite as I was showing you kanina was Paradise Cool Red Brown. Okay, so this is when applied to sa skin nila, it really brightens up. 
Okay, pero medyo ano na kasi to dark. So, I don't really know the level of pagka morena because meron tayong tinatawag na Fitzpatrick scale. That is the level of our skin tone. Okay, but this one, Paradise, is really a good color. You should try it. It's good for your cheeks as well and your lips. Promise. Lagay mo lang yan. Finger mo sa lips. Tap yung pinky finger sa lips. Tapos yung iyong ring finger dito sa mata. Ganyan, ganyanin mo lang. And then your middle finger, dito sa cheeks, i-dub mo, tas i-spread mo. Super pack na pack yan. <laughs> I, have to, I have to agree, Paradise is actually good for like literally everyone because yeah. I'm Chinita and I love it also. So, so just get Paradise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paradise is really good. So I love it. Yeah. Uh, this is an interesting question from Jan Ina Garcia asking mm -hmm. about the idea of olive undertones and how do you work with olive undertones in, in eyeshadow because you don't really get to encounter them as much. True. Okay, olive undertone. Talaga. Um, for those who don't understand, olive undertone, yung medyo mag-green-green na siya, may parang pagkabumbay-bumbay, no? And olive undertone, normally, um, people assume they are... Um, Ano ba yung powder nyo for olive? Is it na dark? Is it tofi, Frankie? It's tofi. It's tofi yeah, and cafe. Yeah, it's tofi and cafe. Okay, so if you see that tofi is parang ano eh, may pagka-cool siya. Kasi ang olive, ano eh, um, parang yung moss green. Parang ganon. So, it is usually assumed na may pagka-green siya. No? Uh, I mean, na may pagka-cool siya. May pagka-cool siya. So, olive... The opposite of olive in the color wheel or green is somewhat reddish, okay? So, um, <clears throat> if I were to do makeup, eye makeup on an olive tone skin, I would still, yeah, I would still go for that uh, reddish color. Ang iniiwasan ko lang sa olive, guys, is purple. For some reason, they don't look good together. So, if I am using something that is cool... Medyo nandun ako sa um, cool red brown, hindi purplish or hindi burgundy or hindi plumish. Medyo maingat ako sa ganun kasi nagmumukhang marumi. Nagmumukhang marumi. So, <clears throat> if you're going for a cool color, opt for yung medyo reddish brown na color. If you're opting, or you can also do... Um, in fact, yellow, yellow and gold works for me with cool undertones or olive people. Sorry, for with olive undertones or olive skin people. Yon. All right. Wonderful. This one is from Angel Lampitok. She didn't put it into the Q&A, but she typed it into the chat. She asked, do you have any, this is, I think, a really good one, tips for creating winged eyeliner? Mm. That's a, everybody's favorite challenge. Is, yeah, is... yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, last time, uh, we did explain... But, okay, for the purpose of the question, we are going to repeat it. Yes! Winged eyeliner is very simple. Do not be scared of it. Okay. Um, if you are not yet very sanay, do not practice with liquid eyeliner yet. If your hands are not that sanay yet, okay? I suggest you practice with gel muna with a very, very fine brush. Na malinis. I mean, walang mga sabit-sabit so you can create that wing okay what is the trick for winging okay guys una sa lahat when you are winging you have to open your eyes do not apply it na nakaganyan so normally people you will read stretch stretch ganyan ang mababasa mo but if you do apply it like this at nagwing ka, some eyes are droopy kasi like me. If I close my eyes, kala mo nandito yung dulo ng mata ko. But when I open my eyes, asan? Ang layo, ba? So if you don't, you end up looking like a geisha. Okay? So my very first tip for winging is open your eyes. Okay? So you will see what? What I want you to see is this part of your eye. This the lower corner of your eye because this lower corner will be your guide on how you wing okay so that lower corner okay so ayan ka, tingi ka sa salamin chin up ka 
then tignan mo yung lower corner mo. Yung lower corner mo, parang susundan mo yan palabas. Yan. So, parang sinundan mo yung, if you're coming from here, parang tinuloy mo siyang ganun. So, if you really look at that, that's the 45 degree angle from the ball of your nose towards the end of your kilay. So, that is your 45 degree angle. Pero mahirap naman maglagay ng 45 degree angle na ganyan. Or if you want, you can actually put a medical tape here if you want to. But, to simplify things, yan na. Nakita nyo na, kawing na yung mata ko. All I did was to connect the bottom, this bottom shape, upwards. There. After I'm done with that, the tip of that, I connect to the middle of my eye. There you go. And I just fill in. Okay, mahirap man alamin sa screen, no? But, you know, you get the point. And I just fill in, and then I fill all the way in. Depends on how long your your wing, your wing you want your wing to be. Okay, so that's my trick for winging because I want my wing to be perky. But by all means, some wing is lazy kind of wing. You know that um, Marilyn Monroe kind of wing? Okay, so if you want the perky wing, ayan yan, no? Pa, cut eye. Diba? But if you want that lazy Marilyn Monroe type of wing... Sorry, mananalamin na ako. Medyo mahirap na to. Okay, if this was pointing to the end of your the end of your kilay, this one naman, medyo straight. You start straight. Yan. You start straight, and then again, you connect. Here. See the difference? So, this is a sophisticated kind of wing. So, you just start parang from your middle. Pag tinuwid mo yung middle mo, straight yan dyan, yan yung wing mo. That is your lazy wing. But if you want your wing to be perky, cut eye, then it's a 45 degree angle here. Arte ko, grabe. <laughs> okay, what's next? We're almost out of time, everyone. So we'll just take... Uh, wow, time flies. It's already 7.08. Sobrang so. time flies talaga tayo when we have class, when we have webinars. I know. This is so wonderful. But we'll just answer, I think, just one more question. Uh, and I think the best question is just uh, from Lisel Refilio who asks, What shade of brown... Which shade of brown? is ideal. This is a contour color. So it's about contouring the eyes, but also the nose and the face as well from the MCC. Okay. Which from contour. the MCC, okay. I actually use one, which I will show you. Okay. Ang ginagamit ko is um, Glee, actually. Yeah. Let me just show you. There are two types that I use. I use Serenity and Glee kasi. Okay. This is also good sa mata. So, inuuna ko, let's say, I use, this is Serenity, ah, guys. Serenity. You see that? It's like taupe. It's a pale taupe color. Okay. Ang ginagawa ko, I use this to contour my eyes muna. To create that shadow here if I want a contoured look. Okay. And then, whatever is remaining from my brush is what I use here to contour my nose. So, I connect my contour to the nose and I create this a little bit of triangular shape here only because it's uso. But, still depends on the shape of your nose, guys. May mga taong hindi tupasok sa kanila. Pag nag-triangle, triangle ka dyan, yung iba kasi nagmumukhang malapad here and it's not Ganyan ninyo yan, para hindi siya magmukhang malapan. So, yan. Can you see it? This is Serenity. Okay, so let me use on the other side the, the Glee. Yung Glee kasi is a copper color, kaya lang medyo may kaunti siyang shimmer. Kaya after this, I still apply loose powder talaga on top. So, ito naman si, si Glee. Kunwari yan, and I apply it here. 
Yeah, so this is like a cool brown and this is a warm brown color. Yeah. And then I set it with powder, guys. My trusty stay matte coreless powder. Again with a very loose brush. Tak 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 muna. And then I just dab it to set the color in. Yeah. So again, I apply it here muna and then whatever is remaining I use here para it's not too much color on the side of your nose. Okay. Any other color? Call All right. any other question? Colors. I mean <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think um we're pretty much good with everything. Uh, I think one last question is this from Re Ebarle is asking just about last tip which is if i'm applying eye makeup this is just a good round out last question i'm applying eye makeup how do i lessen the tendency for me to irritate my own eyes she mentions that when she applies makeup she ends up irritating her own eyes or she messes it up or she rubs her eyes as a result i guess how do i prevent myself from hurting myself when applying eye makeup okay that's that's a great question i wouldn't have thought of that unless Thank you for asking that. Okay, so first of all, guys, you need to clean your brushes, okay? Your brushes breed bacteria. Um, some makeup or some makeup artists, they wet, they wet their brushes before using their eye makeup for intensity. I don't do that. I never do that because water breeds bacteria, okay? So if you want your makeup to be intense, use an intense product or use an intense color or build it up so i never use water that's one okay and secondly i always clean my brushes if you're very sensitive clean after every use quickly spray mo lang naman yung brush cleaner eh. alana's a very good brush cleaner and then tissue off then there tomorrow you're safe again okay thirdly the product has to be hypoallergenic definitely okay um Sometimes, pag masyadong mura, guys, medyo nakakatakot kasi well, may mga products yan na nakaka-allergy, okay? The, the products, the, the allergens, hindi yun ang topic natin ngayon, but just make sure you're using a hypoallergenic product. It's one of the reasons why I love Alana and why I stayed with them for such a long time, stayed using with them. Stayed using it. I use it on flower girls. Imagine how sensitive this, those I use it for pregnant women, for pregnant brides. Walang nagre-react. Everything is, lahat siya, nag-work siya. When I need to use for sensitive skin, ilan na talaga kinagamit ko. And then, pangatlo, um, if you have sensitive eyes, and hindi ka pasanay, masyado ka makalat, I suggest you go for the, the creams. Okay? Stay away from pigments. Kasi, yung pigments, tend to drop off and enter the eyes, okay? But if you are, if you love the pigments and if there's something na favorite mo talaga kasi pigments lang talaga, sobrang ganda niya talaga mag-highlight, may advantage talaga siya. If you're gonna use that, make sure you use a base. Like, there was a concealer there that will hold it. There's a primer there that will hold it. In fact, what I do really, Frankie, I apply the primer on my, my, um, here on my, the top of my palm and then oh. doon ko nilalagay yung pigments if I really want it to stay together and then to last longer and to grab onto my eyes, yun ang ginagawa ko para hindi siya makalat but yun, ganun so I suggest that for you, if your eyes are very sensitive and if you want to use pigments, yun ang gamitin mo and all the other things that I said yeah Ganyan. Oh, kasi meron talaga yung nagkakalat na, tapos napuwing ka na, ginalaw mo ng ganon. Try the MCCs kasi si MCC, pag nilagay mo in place, it's blendable, but it doesn't fall off. Baka yun yung mas product na better for you. There. Nice. Thank you so much, Miss Christine. Um, I think we learned a lot and it really did not feel like one hour. Um, this Ang bilis so nga ng one hour palagi, eh, no? Oh, it's always just very shocking that it's already <laughs> one hour gone. Thank you guys so much for participating. I'd like to announce our winners. Congratulations to... Uh, I am, uh, sorry, very... Frankie. I just, I'm so... 
I like this question. Can you just mention it? From Peter oh, Manzano. Why does Trump use blue eyeshadows? Go ahead. Does this make him look younger? Okay. I think if you look at Trump's eyes, he has blue eyes kasi. And if you apply blue eyeshadow, it is not so halata. Kasi naman, who would expect a president to be wearing eyeshadow, di ba? Medyo weird. So, if you apply, parang sa, sa atin, yung naked palette and our skin tone look so natural because brown yung rays natin. Sa kanya, hindi yun magmumukhang natural. Kasi, Caucasian siya, tapos medyo kakaiba yung kulay niya, orange, <laughs> tapos blue yung eyeshadow niya. <laughs> so, yung blue eyeshadow, nag- nag-create ng parang um, uh, na, lalong napapa-blue yung mata niya na hindi halata. Okay ba yun? Okay ba yun, Peter? Thank you for that question. I that love it. Really good <laughs> so, guys, if you want to make your, I guess the tip is if you have blue contacts and you want to be more yeah. blue but not very obvious that they're, you're wearing eyeshadow, Wear blue yeah, you, para magbi-blend in siya together. Hello, <laughs> Diane! <laughs> Alright! So, congratulations to Anna Ruth Villarreal and Sherry Ann Rose Ignacio. And we'll also add Diane Belvedere. Yay! Diane congratulations Belvedere. to the winners! Congratulations to three of you. You'll be taking home a gift certificate from Elana. Just please direct message us. Direct message us. Wow, my English went somewhere. Direct <laughs> message us on Facebook as well. And don't worry, if you uh, felt, oh wow, this is moved, it moved really fast. Um, we do have a YouTube replay of this entire webinar. If you can yeah, do this is two parts. Frank, you upload the first part. Yes, um, that one I think is uploading now. We just had to clean up the sound a little bit. So it will be uploaded soon and you'll be able to watch them back to back. The Makeup for Monolids Live is also there on YouTube so you can watch it as well. I think that's a good uh, good episode to watch first before the other two masks. Yeah, yeah. Monolids questions. Thank you so much, Miss Christine. Thank I you, really thank you. This again, and thank you to our wonderful guests and attendees as well. Thank you, um, attendees. Thank you, thank you so very, very much. All right, uh, and for everybody else who feels, oh no, I haven't been able to win. Don't worry, you can still tune in to Alana. We have a lot of people waiting yeah. as well regularly. So thank you guys so much. Thank you, Miss Christine. Good night, everyone. Thank Enjoy you. Good night. Thank bye. you. Bye.